Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in to this very special episode of our 2023 Echo with a pop top. I'm so excited about this unit. This coach has always been fantastic. It's just even better now. It is a wonderful 70 degrees today here in Denver, Colorado. We are in Frederick, just north of Denver, about 15 miles, 20 minutes drive. We're about 25 minutes from the airport and we have the coolest RV to show you today. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. And this pop top is so amazing. Um, one of the first things I want to do is just show you all of the air that comes through here. So you've got, you know, these great windows just like that of the Solus. Uh, another one that opens completely over here. Uh, you can pull these shades up so you can go ahead and black out the interior of the coach. Uh, there's another screen in front of me. So you can see that right over here behind us. And then just above that, we have this little fan up here. So lots of ventilation and a nice warm day, great place to hang out and relax. You're also gonna note that we have our USB ports here. So we've got two USB ports. We also have our little outlet right here. And then on the opposite side, we have two 110 outlets and we have an LED light bar uh, that is at the entrance of this, of this unit. Now, I wanted to go ahead and measure for you the, the dimensions of this mattress so because I think that that's important. So we're gonna look at about, uh, if I remember correctly, 55 inches across. And then I wanna say 82 down, but let's just, let's just verify. So yeah, we're gonna be 82 down. But more importantly, the, the headroom that you've got up here is really, really nice. So I actually have about 34 inches uh, from top to bottom here. So plenty of room to be able to sit up, be comfortable and do whatever I'd like to do while I'm hanging out here. Maybe I want to read a book, uh, send out some text messages. Maybe I even just want to sit down and relax, take a nice nap. Lots and lots of room up here to hang out and chill and great views the whole way around. Uh, so as usual, my name is Katie O'Neill. I do a ton of RV videos and I always like to start from the inside out. So Marlon, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and take her on back. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't say Jody this time. I said Marlin. Today we have a fantastic uh, new cameraman. Not only is Marlin our new cameraman, Marlin is in his own right a star on TV. He does all of our truck videos. Uh, with He and Larry do a truck video uh, five days a week. Uh, here at TransWest, we do three videos a day. And Marlin is getting behind the camera to help out during the summertime. And it is just fantastic to have him on board. So thank you so much, Marlon, for coming to uh, TransWest and helping us out in your busy, busy schedule. So over here on the left, the first thing that we're gonna look at is these windows. So one of the things I really like about these windows is the way that these blinds work. Um, so super nice. Now, when I open these, you'll see that they've got these nice little latches, really simple. These are dual pane acrylic windows. Uh, they pop open. If I want to have some fresh air, I can have fresh air. If I want to have blackout, I can have my blackout. I can release, have nothing. But when I close these, there's two different latches. There's a latch system here, which is giving you just a little bit of air coming through. So these are a mid, a mid latch right here. So it's keeping the window shut, but there's still a little bit of a space there. And then you come in further and you can go all the way tight. So you've got two different levels there if you want to have just a little bit of air coming into the coach uh, when you're camping, of course. Now, the other thing that I wanted to measure, and I talked to Nick this morning, who is, of course, the uh, absolute expert on this coach. These are 30 inches wide. And I said, Nick, I mean, I know that this is on our internal drive, but there's nothing in the, in the brochure telling people how tall you can be on these uh, mattresses. These are 76 by 30. So there's your answer. A little bit better, uh, a little bit bigger than that of what you'd find in a bunk model Renegade, for instance, um, or a Superstar. 
The other thing that we have here is this Fraioli system. This is such a cool system. When you sit on this mattress, you really, you, it, it's so nice and comfortable. The other thing that's really important about it is if you put your hand underneath here, you can feel this is actually a cooling uh, system that they have. So this material is designed to be, uh, to wick the heat away from your body and to actually make you more cool. Now on the interior here, we're at the Veritas interior. So here's our great drawer space that we have underneath. on this side and then here's our other drawer on this side and you'll notice these are full extension nice drawers go ahead they, they snap in place so they don't rattle when you're going down the road and then we have a huge uh, cupboard here where you actually have a clothing rack so nice place to hang up some of your clothes if you'd like underneath and then here on this side we're going to have another great place to hang clothing as well. So great place to store things underneath. Um, and then underneath here, you'll see we've got our heat coming out as well as we have all of our air vents that are up over the top. So we've got a 13,500 uh, BTU air conditioner and about 11,500 uh, BTU heat. Now, when we talk about heat, one of the coolest things of this coach is this coach is designed uh, to get you really off grid. So this is a coach that is made for people who want to go camping, uh, boondocking, who may not want to be plugged into 30 amp power. So how does that work? Well, with your Truma system here, the Vario system is really cool. You can heat your water and your coach, and you can run your air conditioning here. Um, all of this is gonna run off of two uh, five pound or five gallon uh, propane tanks. So instead of having, um, you know the system where you need to actually go in and fill your tanks you can you can actually buy these tanks at a gas station at home depot you can bring extra tanks with you and those tanks are going to power your heat and then your truma system is a tankless hot water system so you're going to have tankless hot water you're going to have your heat and all of those things are comp are contained in something that you can actually pick up at a home depot or a gas station so really cool feature there now i know the next thing you're thinking is well what about power well, this coach has plenty of power. The way that we do that, this coach actually has two lithionics, lithium ion batteries with 320 amp hours. Uh, that two batteries get you up to 640 amp hours of battery storage. So what does that mean to you? Well, it means if you usually can have your coach air conditioned while you're away with just your battery power. Now keep in mind, this coach also has a 220 uh, watts of solar on top of it. We'll be able to see that from the outside. So that's filling those batteries. But what you're really running off of here is you're running off of your battery power. So it stores the power and then you're using that to run your air conditioner, to run your microwave, to, uh, to power your heat. All of those things are in combination with, you know, for the heat, it's going to be, of course, propane and electricity. Or for your air conditioning, of course, it's just going to be electricity. But if you have two batteries instead of one, what's really cool about that is you can run your air conditioner for twice as long. So if you can get a few hours out of um, your air conditioner with just the one battery, you can pretty much make it overnight as long as you are using um, a, fair, a low level of other outlets and, and energy supplies in the evening hours. So in other words, top off your batteries, turn on your AC, and you can have a nice cool evening um, all night long. Now, of course, one of the best things about this coach is going to be uh, how many people you can have in it. So here we have a uh, room for two, right? We also have a great area here. If you've got a fine furry friend who wants to sleep down at the foot of the bed, you can do that. But if you want to take this tray, which of course has, as you can see, a little place for your cup holders, a nice solid board here, and you want to flip this over, you can flip this over and turn this whole entire area into a bedroom. Now, when you do that, what's interesting about this, because I had someone say, oh, I don't like the Echo because we can't sleep together. You sure can. Just put that down right here. And what that will give you is it will actually give you a bed that is, check this out. This is incredible. We're talking 80 inches across back here. So 80 inches of sleeping accommodations. So if you're not the smallest person in the world, or maybe you just toss and turn a lot at night, great place for you to be able to enjoy um, all of the room to sleep in. 
Now up here, you'll notice that we also have to make everything, uh, you know, as useful as possible. We've got these great lights which change colors. So you've got your blue light or you've got a white light if you want to do that for reading. Uh, so it won't bother you at night. So really cool feature that you can actually change the colors of these lights. So you can use it more as a night light or as a reading light. Um, the other thing that's really great about this is we've got our two USB ports. Again, we've got our 9 volt outlet up here as well. And then our two 110 outlets. And there's actually a grommet here. So as you can see, uh, you can twist this to open. And then you can actually have your, uh, well, I swear you can. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm almost there. You can twist this to open so that you can actually have your outlets uh, below come through this port so that you actually okay so just so you know this is probably the easiest thing to operate in the world and I know you twist it but I can't seem to figure out where the hole where the hole is so don't listen to me uh, but no so you can twist this so you can run everything through here and come down and you can run your iPad you can charge your cell phone all of those things and then on top of it look at all the storage that you have up here now once again I'm measuring a lot of this stuff today because I think that as a consumer You'll note that it's hard to buy boxes and things if you don't know how deep these are. These are just over eight inches, so called eight and a half inches deep. And then in terms of your overall length, we're gonna be looking at a length of just about, oh, 29 inches all the way in. Um, and so that's great space up here. And then this, let's call it to the ceiling, is gonna be about 11 inches, but up here to this little bar, call it about 10 and a half. So lots and lots of storage room, and you've got two of those. And then up here, you'll also see that there is another grommet. This is actually going through to the roof of the RV. Um, Winnebago is really good about, they know that you're going to maybe want to have Starlink. Maybe you're going to want to have Cradle Point. Uh, maybe you're going to want to have some kind of Wi-Fi device that you run through and you need a place to be able to get that antenna up on the roof. They, they provide this for you so you don't need to put holes in the ceiling of your coach. So really handy there. And then over here, as you can see, you've got that same amount of storage here as well, and another light night light right here. So both of these windows have the day and night shades. Both of them are the same opening factors. And then again, once again, you've got all of your ducting here. So you've got your nice air conditioning and you also have LED lights. So low voltage lighting. So you're not using a lot of energy. And as you can see, a really nicely well lit bedroom. Okay, so now as we move on, I think um, one of the things that I feel like is a really big improvement on this coach versus those of like the Solus and the Revel, which are also fantastic products, um, is the size of the refrigerator. So this 5.3 cubic foot refrigerator has a ton of extra room here. Uh, so this is a really nice. You even have a little meat and cheese drawer. You've got a place where you can separate your vegetables from your fruits. And you also have on top here an ice maker or a freezer if you want to keep popsicles. We have a question. Oh, we have a question. That's great. Have a question. What's the maximum battery pack for the Echo? Okay, so you can. So the question is, what's the maximum battery pack for the Echo? So this coach comes standard with two, with one lithium-ion battery, with 320 amp hours of, of storage. Uh, you can opt for the second battery to be installed at the factory, and that would give you 640 total amp hours of battery storage. Um, now keep in mind, you can have 455 watts of solar on top of this coach. When you have the pop top, it only has 220, but as a treat for people like you who are looking to maximize that storage, um, and by the way, thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in. These, of course, are live videos. They're live on Facebook, uh, so appreciate the, you know, the, the questions. Um, but we also, we have a generator, an outboard generator to show you today. Uh, in the storage area so that you can see some other ways that you can actually power this vehicle without having uh, to be plugged in at a campsite and having that maximum uh, battery capacity coming from the factory as well. We got one more question. Oh, sure. What's the next question? What are the transmission options? Uh, there's one transmission option. It's a 10-speed automatic transmission. And this, uh, this transit is an all-wheel drive transit, uh, but it is one, uh, one transmission option. There's no multiple options for transmissions. Um, so thank you for the question once again. Okay, wait, hold on. Don't come over here yet. I have to change it. Start here. Come on, Marlon. Okay, now you can come. Okay, so look at this beautiful bathroom. I love this. 
As you can see, we've got a nice long mirror, got easy access to our water pump. We have our five gallon cassette toilet down here. Um, and then above this, you'll see we also have same thing where we have this nice shaded system. So you've got your day shades or your night shades. And then again, you have that same capacity to be able to open this window or if you need to have it just be vented a little bit. You'll see there, I sort of got just a little bit of fresh air coming into the coach all the time. Want to keep the mosquitoes out, go ahead and put this bad boy down. Great way to stow this coach. Also up here, we've got a great amount of storage in our medicine cabinet. So nice place to keep, you know, your bug spray, your suntan lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, all that stuff. And then um, you can blow dry your hair. You've got your two 110 outlets right here as well but check out where the magic happens. Oh, the flying W to hang your washcloth. Don't forget that. We'll have a few of those throughout this coach, but check this out. How cool is this shower? This is so much room. So for those of you who are familiar with the showers that we have in the Solus and the Revel, you know, you really don't have a ton of room. This is so fantastic. It's got a great little shower curtain. It comes the whole way around, keep you nice, and uh, nice and private while you're taking your shower. You don't even have to have the door completely closed if you don't want to, because you've got a shower curtain. I just think that this is like one of the very best attributes of this coach. So larger refrigerator, huge sleeping area, a convertible bathroom. I mean, how great is that? Um, so just love all of those features. Now, another flying W up here. These flying Ws aren't for any particular thing. Um, they're to hang your washcloth to hang your keys, to hang your sunglasses, whatever it is that you might lose while you're, uh, you know, camping. You know, if you can find a place where you keep everything together, you've got a much higher uh, success rate of not losing your car keys uh, while you're camping, maybe your park pass, all of those things can be hung on these flying Ws. Now underneath here with our cooktop, so we've got a two burner suburban cooktop. You'll see that we have, um, this coach is winterized, so we don't have the purification center installed right here, but that fits right here underneath. So you've got a purification, sense, uh, purification system, also a ton of storage for linens. You can definitely keep your towels right here. So when you're getting in and out of the shower, you've got those, you know, just at an arm's reach. And then I'll show you the suburban cooktop. And again, this is powered by those two five gallon propane tanks, which is so fantastic. So up and down, and then again, these fantastic windows. Let's say that maybe I'm cooking something that's a little bit smelly. I can pop this all the way open and still keep the bugs out. Go ahead, pull this down. It snaps into place. Just love the way that Winnebago has been able to do this. This makes it so much more efficient. And then here, of course, we have some overhead storage, an awesome place to be able to keep your dishes, um, your bowls. You could stack everything up there, plenty of room for cups. I love these little touch puck lights. So where you don't have switches, you also have just the little click-ons and that's on both sides here. So you can get some nice light here while you're cooking. Another fantastic uh, feature of this coach is this little guy right here. Um, I love the sink cover. It's actually a cutting board as well. And it just gives you all that much more space as for, in terms of countertops. So I think that that's just fantastic. Um, in terms of these drawers, if you are trying to go out and buy a silverware set, uh, they're about 15 inches up long and then about 16 inches wide. And then overall depth, I would say that you're gonna have up to about seven and a half inches uh, to the top of this little bar here is just over uh, five, just under six. So there's one drawer. Uh, this little drawer is a little bit more shallow. So again, if you're looking at this, it's gonna be that 16 inches long and then at about seven inches in terms of depth. And then in terms of overall height, same thing for this one, just under seven inches. Um, and I think that there's a sink here. So I would say you probably want to be about five inches high there uh, in total. And then as you can see here, these are snapping into place. Now let's not forget, we also have our pantry here with these adjustable shelves. This is such a nice feature in this coach. It gives you so much room to be able to keep things. Um, I just think that that's wonderful. Another huge benefit that we have in this RV that you don't see in a lot of RVs are the fact that we have two, uh, two shoulder harnesses. So these little um, 
These little RVs oftentimes just have a lap belt, so to actually have a three-pointed seat belt for safety is great. Of course, these are forward-facing, so these could certainly be used with car seats. And if you think that they're really cool looking, um, please give a shout out because the ladies at Stitchwork that actually hand assemble these seats, you can go to the factory um, and go into the Stitchwork portion of, uh, of, the, of the plant. Um, and they've got about, oh, look at Marlon. Hold on. Marlon's going to get creative. He is going to put the ladder on top of, <laughs> maybe. Can you do it? Oh, show him what you did, Marlon. Just look, to get it out of the way. Yeah, look at that. Even Marlon just single-handedly put the ladder up top. So I guess that's a great place you can stow the ladder. It does break down into two sections, so you can easily stow it there, or you can stow it in the behind storage, as you'll see later on. And if you break it into the two sections, um, it would very easily fit up there. Uh, but anyway, back to stitch work. So these ladies, they, they sew all this stuff, but the most fascinating thing about uh, Winnebago is they have all of these different sections. They've got a section where they cut steel. They have a, a section where they where they, they take that steel and then dip it into, uh, there's 10 big, big vats of water and e-coat. Um, in other words, they coat, uh, electrically coat that steel with this black paint, um, helping to keep it rust proof. Um, they have another factory or another section where they make all of, you know, your, your furniture, all of your curtains, all of those things. But what's so interesting about this is they have all these bolts of fabric from like back in the 60s and 70s. So if you call them and say, hey, my, my cat, you know, used my, my headrest as a piano uh, or as a, as a scratching post. Uh, she was having piano claws all over the place and there's just marks all over it. They can just order this piece for you and replace this piece. So that's a really fantastic option of this coach. Um, if you have a torn chair, if you, you know, if, if you spilled something on this, all of this can be remanufactured and ordered for you because um, it all, they have production numbers on all of it. And they even make this portion. So they've got a place where you walk in and they heat this plastic up to about 400 degrees. And then they, 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 little, they literally like melt it onto a form and then cut everything out so they can really get these little components to be exactly the shape that they want. And that lends into the next aspect of this coach. So we talked about the five gallon um, removable cassette toilet. So that's five gallons, easy beasy, right? Well, this coach has 50 gallons of fresh water and a 51 gallon gray water tank. But what's interesting about it, if you read the literature, it talks about how it's proportioned. And what they mean about that is they literally make these water tanks. So instead of having a water tank that's this shape that you have to build your RV around, they can say, oh, we have this, you know, golf club shaped water tank where we can maximize the amount of water we're getting in here. But it's kind of an odd, odd shape. And they create a mold and then they pour a plastic uh, powder into that mold, heat it up and spin it around until it creates that tank. After that tank's created, they remove the mold, they submerge it in water to make sure that it's airtight and that there's no leaks. And that's what's going into your coach. And that's what allows Winnebago to make it so that there is less than 100 pounds of difference in weight from left to right on this coach. So when you're going down the road, you're not having that wobbly effect because one side's heavier than the other. This coach is weighted to give you the best performance going through the mountains. It's weighted to give you the best performance going down the fjords, around those turns, so that you can feel comfortable driving this RV. And I really want to make sure you understand, they also were able to basically create um, almost like a big, a big cup around this coach and bringing all of those water tanks into the interior of the coach instead of being exterior exposed, they have a much, much better um, resistance to cold and hot temperatures. Now we talk about cold all the time. So one of the things I think that's really interesting in this is, um, and I wanna make sure I say it correctly. So, you know, one of the things that they're really, really proud about um, that they've been able to do here is they have been able to um, get certified by uh, by um, by Truma as a gold certification uh, or, or gold certified coach. So I wanted to find out what uh, gold certified meant. What gold certified meant is Truma literally brought this coach down to four degrees and turned on their system with the propane tanks and the lithium ion battery, got this coach up to 68 degrees and were able to maintain that temperature at four degrees below on the outside, 68 degrees on the inside for several hours before running out of fuel. That's a really cool feature. And the way that they're doing that is it doesn't cost them as much 
to cool or heat this coach in terms of energy use because this coach is so well insulated. Now, when we talk about that, there's things that you can see and things that you can't see, but one of the things that you can't see is this. So this is just a little bit of a piece of the floor that you'll find in the back. We'll look at this later on today. You can see these little air cells in here. This is just like your coffee cup. So where you have those insulated coffee cups that keep your hot coffee hot for up to eight hours and your cold drink cold for up to 12, that's what we're using in this coach. So we've got the air pockets. We also have this really thick foam that we use um, you know, to create our walls, to create our doors, to create all of our heated compartments below. Um, so we're able to really give you a much more all-weather camping experience. And this Ford Transit chassis is all-wheel drive. So if you want to go snowboarding and you want to catch first chair and you want to go up the night before and stay in your coach, you can do that. Um, one of the things that you'll want to do is take your thermal blanket, which is right here. I'll pull this out. It should give you also an idea as to the ton of space up here. But this thermal blanket snaps into place around the front of the windows keeping that uh, nice and insulated so that you're not letting the heat from the coach out of the windows in the front. Uh, so that's a fantastic little feature here. It just snaps on right here, comes all the way across and goes all the way down, isolating this section of the cab from the rest of the coach. Um, so that's a great feature, but you can actually take this coach and go camping in you know, those, those sub-zero temperatures and not worry about freezing to death, which is just amazing. Um, so we have up here, you'll note we got some little map pockets on both sides, but this does not have the optional entertainment system. So you've got a nice pocket here. You've got your LED light here. And then over here you have HDMI ready uh, system. So if you wanted to be able to put something in, you would always be able to do that. You could run anything you wanted to if you've got a computer or something you want to hang. Um, and then you've got your 110 outlets. And then look at all the storage that you have up here. So great place to keep, you know, your um, sunglasses, your wallet. Everybody can have their own cubby. I think that that's just really fantastic. And then you also have more storage up here as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put this table down so that we can see the room here without the table in place. Oh. So take a look at all this leg room. So if you've got a few kids that want to go on a road trip, what's better than having like a lot of space for them? You know, when you're sitting behind someone's seat, you don't typically have this much room. And the amount of space, when I say you've got a lot of space, the amount of space here, we're talking about 29 inches um, from the base of that chair all the way to the front. So lots and lots of space. Now these do turn around. This cushion goes on top of this seat when it's spun around so that you can use the table going both directions. So if you wanted to play cards, you know, you can't sit next to each other. Of course, you gotta sit on opposing sides. You can do that in this RV. Now, another great feature we wanna talk about here is the table that comes on here. So I can turn this seat around. There's another table stowed back here. Now, why is this handy? Maybe I'm not playing cards. What if I wanna work for my RV? So I could actually create this extend it to the full height, leave it high, have something that's countertop while I'm making dinner, or I could have a standing desk. So if I want to sit, maybe go get my, uh, you know, a few hours of surfing in in the morning, you know, down in Baja, and then log into work, work for a few hours, I can stand up, answer all my emails, do all of my duties for work, right here inside of my coach, lots and lots of functionality in here, lots of creative ways to use the room, um, like I said, this is just a really fantastic RV. Now, one of the first things I do when I get to camping is I'm going to come in and I'm going to turn on my coach right here, but new for 2023 over here on the right hand side, we have a, we have a whole house disconnect. So, uh, to completely turn off the coach and el eliminate any kind of, uh, power bleed. So in other words, if you've got a pump that you forgot on, if you've got some lights that you didn't turn off. When you use that switch, you turn that off and you turn off the coach here. You've got everything. There's not going to be any power bleed. You're not going to come back and find that your batteries are completely shot because maybe you left the light on in the bedroom or maybe you left the water pump on and didn't realize it, whatever it might be. So really nice to have that full disconnect new for 2023. Now you'll see here um, awnings uh, in and out. So we can turn our awning line off and on. 
This is really important. I'm going to show this to you in just a few minutes. So what this awning light does is it creates a, uh, a living room effect for you in the dark. So, you know, when you sit at home around your coffee table and hang out with your buddies, you know, your room is nice and well lit. Well, this little awning light, when you put this awning out, gives you that same experience. And it's a little bit gusty today, so this might come in. Um, now, one of the things to know about this is that, so you've got a few different apps that you can have for this coach. One of those is your carefree app. So you can actually deploy and retract this coach with your carefree application. Now, every once in a while, you'll hear a small alarm going off, and that either means that your awning battery, um, so this little guy down here, that does your wind detection is dead and you need to replace that so that's right there um, or it means that the awning is not have Bluetooth connectivity and if that's the case then you the way that you re reset that is when you bring your awning in you just push and hold your little button right here so you turn this on so we're gonna go ahead and push the in button it'll start to bring the awning in and after the awning is all the way in you're gonna hold down on this in button for about three to five seconds and that will get into pairing mode. And if you pair this awning, you can actually operate it with the Carefree app from your phone. So you don't even need to come into the coach. You can use this button or you could just simply use your phone. Now, one of the things we talked about with that wind sensing awning, it's really important to understand, although it's wind sensing, it's not windproof. I would always recommend you put your awning in when you go uh, camping. I think that it's really important if you're gonna leave for a hike or something like that, don't trust technology, trust yourself, go ahead and bring that in. Um, okay, so now let's talk about one of the other features that I just think is so fantastic. This is a really unique feature to this coach. So in 2023, uh, they took the screen, this little part here, the soft screen, and they moved it from the inside to the outside. So if you have a puppy that's jumping on this screen, for instance, they're not gonna scratch it or create holes in it. Um, but one of the things that I really love about this door is if you do have a dog, this is nice and durable, This is or kids for that matter. This is something where you can actually keep your uh, puppy in here, but not only that, you can close this, right? And then you can lock it, and I can actually deadbolt my screen. So now if Marlon was to come over here and try to pull this open, you would see it's got a really uh, secure deadbolt to it. And let me just show you what that deadbolt looks like. It's, it's a little guy right here. So it's got a nice deadbolt, and then it's got a lock here that also comes up. So you can actually sleep with your screen door closed but your door open, again, just helping to promote that circulation of fresh air. Um, so I'm gonna take my glasses off. Um, I think it's important to note that there is a fire extinguisher, so that's great there. Um, and then when you see like this stuff here where you see like these pieces of metal, keep in mind that's again that e-coating that we do at Winnebago that allows us to have that look. Now this was a Veritas interior. Um, this exterior is uh, the Sienna exterior. Uh, it's got the graphics delete package, so there's actually no stickers on it. It just takes the K in Echo and turns it orange. Um, and let's see, so we talked about the gold certification, which I think is really important. Uh, the fuel capacity of this coach, which I thought was really interesting, is, uh, you know, 31 gallons. And this coach is going to get somewhere, you know, north of 10, uh, probably low teens for gas mileage when you're going down the road on a regular basis. Of course, that'll fluctuate with depending on you know, if you're going up a steep traverse or coming down a hill. But I mean, that's really fantastic gas mileage. But to get that kind of fuel efficiency and then have 31 gallons of fuel, I mean, that's a great amount of gas to have in your vehicle so that you can get around without having to stop as frequently, maybe get a little further out. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about here, um, as you can see, I still have my LED light on here. I also have my outdoor security light, so my door light, in other words. Um, but one of the things I really like um, about this coach is the fact that it's got the pop top. But when you have the pop top, it's important to understand you cannot order this pop top with a outdoor kitchen. Uh, it's either one or the other. They don't come with both. You could get the bat wing awning with this coach and have the pop top, but you cannot have the outdoor kitchen. And I watched a number of videos over the weekend just trying to make sure I was catching all the good stuff to talk to you about. A very important feature, you cannot have the outdoor kitchen if you have the pop top. That being said, here's that floor that I showed you earlier. And again, this is helping us to keep this nice foam bubble all around us. Here's your flooring. So insulated, you know, above, insulated below and on all the sides. But this is a lot of room for a nice cooler. 
and then you have your outdoor shower accessories right here so you could plug in your hose and I have a really cool hose that we carry here at Trans West to show you. Um, Avin's got this little guy locked up for me. So very nice of Avin to open all my bays for me today. Um, I would also like to, oh, let me just, excuse me, Marlon, I'll be right back. Oh, did I lock myself out? I did. There we go. I'm in. All right. So just because it makes a lot of sense to do this, when you don't have the refrigerator, what do you have? And that would be, let's go ahead and just measure this. 17 and a half inches uh, to, the, to the seal, just about 17 inches to the black. And then here we have about 29 inches total depth. And then you've got a little bit of a cut out there in that notch. Uh, without the notch though, we are over three feet in terms of width. And then in terms of the door opening, well, we could just measure this, just about two feet in terms of height. But one thing I wanted to show you is this is that foam core that we use. This is how thick it is. So this whole thing is a solid piece of foam. Again, giving you that fantastic insulative quality. Now, when I twist this, new in 2023, they actually have a stopping point. So when you lock them, you know that they're completely closed. They stop right there. They used to kind of twist into imperpet. They twisted forever, just forever. Marlon's laughing at me, guys. He's filling in Jody's shoes so well. Uh, got a few 110 outlets out here. So that's pretty fantastic. Also got your little coax over here. Nice little place if you wanted to go ahead and pump up your um, paddleboard. Now who can take a paddleboard when they're in a C class? You can. Wait till you see how much room this bad boy has. Oh my gosh. The Flame King. This is what I'm so excited about. How nice not to have to go and buy propane. How nice to be able to just say, hey honey, while you're at Home Depot, can you pick up an extra few tanks and bring them with you? We're running a little bit low. God, that is an amazing feature of this coach. So I love this because one of the people um, in the world that has the best hours is going to be the people who sell propane at campgrounds. They literally get to work at like 11 and then they go fishing at like two. So if you're not there right when they're, oh, and then they have lunch. So <laughs> it's so hard to get your, your coach filled with propane. So this is such a nice feature. You can get propane tanks. Home Depot, you can go to Walmart, wherever you need to go. Someone can bring them to you. Just such a great feature, I love that. And these do run, uh, you, so you can do two things. You could have them running simultaneously where they're taking, they're draining both tanks, or you can switch the valve so it's running one and then the other. Uh, it's really up to you. And if you have one that goes completely empty, it will go over to the other one. So uh, it's however you wanna run your tanks. I'm probably more of a one at a time type of person, but you know, Everybody, I'm sure, if you've got feedback on to which way you should actually run your tanks most efficiently, please feel free to put that down in the comments below. Uh, how much more handy could you get out here in your living room? Of course, when we have that awning deployed, and we want to have a nice bonfire. Um, here in Colorado, we have a ton of fire bands. So those little uh, outlander fire pits that run off of propane, um, they last, those propane, tank, propane tanks with an outlander fire pit last a really long time but you could literally bring it out here and run it right off of here, or you could run your outdoor barbecue, however you wanted to do it. Now you'll notice I have a lot of stuff in here today. And the reason I did that is because I felt like it was really important to give you kind of an overall sense of how much stuff you could fit in here. And as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to talk about the fact that you could get a nice generator. So this is a great uh, generator. This has got uh, 2,200 running, 2, running watts, 2,500 peak watts to it. This is a great, nice uh, Cummins generator that we carry here at the dealership. So if you wanted to be able to, for instance, run your coach, be off grid, not be plugged into 30 amp, you can do that. You don't have to have it in the coach either. So it's really nice. The generators, of course, are not the quietest things in the world. And if you're staying somewhere where it's really hot, and maybe you're parked under a tree so you're not getting a lot of solar connectivity, you can run a generator. And I wanted to show that here at our service department, we have all these little accessories, like here's your adapter that goes um, from your 30 amp into the 110, so you can plug it in here. And then you could take your extension cord, so you could take that 
take this away from your camp, run your, your generator uh, into your coach with this cord, then go into that cord, and then plug in here, and really get it kind of up and away from the RV. The other thing I wanted to show was this. So we have these fantastic chairs here. They, uh, they're super comfy. They're really nice to sit in. They get this small. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could fit like 200 lawn chairs in the back of your Echo. I mean, that would be like a lot of them. There's, <laughs> and there, there, if we give, this will give you an idea for that depth again. So you can see I could put them long ways. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is some things that you can use that make things a little bit easier. Um, of course, you always want to have your water pressure regulator. But if you want to get with this little zero G hose, this is a great small hose. Um, it, as you can see, it's got a really cool material to it. It's super easy to use. It's got a five year warranty, but it's much more compact than your typical hose. Um, and then of course a collapsible step stool. Now you'll notice that while I'm in here, there are a bunch of different ways to get into this coach. This is so fantastic. And it's also heated in here. So this is a place where you can keep things um, or cooled, if you will, um, where you don't have to worry about having things completely freeze. You've got your two 110 outlets again. You also have another plug if you want to plug that paddle, uh, pump of that paddle board. And then you've got your little puck lights. And those are on both sides. And then one of the things I thought was really cool about this is this Molly panel. So this Molly panel, again, is E-coated, so it's going to be rust resistant. But one of the reasons that we use this is you can use carabiners to hang things off of here. So you could hang your bike helmets. You could hang your climbing gear. Um, anything that you wanted to be able to store there, your barbecue utensils. Um, oh, why did I bring this chair and have it set up? I told Avin, I said, Avin, make sure you take the chair out. Because I wanted to show you, I mean, look at this. if it's raining, you can just stuff all your stuff in there. Look at how much room you have. Um, I just think it's so fantastic. Oh, another thing I wanted to have, make sure I mentioned, is these uh, are the best hoses because they have clear ends. And this one is really nice because it can get longer and shorter. And if you're going somewhere where you do actually have um, a place where you can plug your gray water into, uh, this can either be at a 10 foot length or 20. So the, it comes, it has a natural break in it. So you can actually leave half of it at home if you don't need the whole entire thing. And if you leave half of it at home, it literally becomes about half the size of this box. So it's a really cool uh, hose, very, very useful. So if you're going to be park camping, of course, you would take the whole thing. If you're going to be camping, um, you know, where you're off grid and you're just using it to dump your gray tank, it's nice to be able to take half of that. Uh, so we talked earlier about this little, uh, this little guy. I called Nick today. He works at Winnebago. He does all the testing for these guys. And I was like, Nick, what does Molly stand for? And he told me and I was like, okay, you're going to have to text that to me because there's no way I'm going to say modular, lightweight, load carrying equipment panel correctly without reading it. So modular, lightweight, load carrying equipment panel. That's why they call it a, a Molly panel, um, but it's magnetic. And again, super durable, really handy, and just fantastic in terms of overall utility. Now, once again, we're just measuring uh, the openings of this. So, you know, you have so much storage in the back of this. You've got 56, 54.6 cubic feet of storage, but the width of these openings is gonna be right about 23, and then height, you're looking at about 37, just under 38 actually. And then same thing here, your width here for your opening is gonna be about 41. And then realistically, I think that you should probably think about 32 tall. So a lot of room in this coach, um, overall depth uh, to the wall. There is a shelf back there, by the way, which is a great place to keep fishing poles and the like, but overall depth is just over 28 inches. So, so much room um, in this coach. Um, this also has, as you'll see, for 2023, we've got a lot of new feature benefits for the actual, um, the chassis aspect of this coach. So, um, the Ford Transit has introduced a blind spot assist. So, in other words, if you turn your signal on, there's actually a radar coming off uh, the side of the, of the RV right here. You can see that big, that big black thing. That radar is telling you that there's someone in your blind spot. 
it will turn red and it will also give you an audible tune letting you know that there's someone in your blind spot just like your car does so really if you think about it these things are so much bigger and more cumbersome you should have all the safety features this has all those safety features it also has um, the emergency braking assist so if you're going to run into the back of someone this coach can't keep you from hitting somebody but it can certainly engage the brakes and get you into that stopping uh, position much faster than you would be without it so pretty cool there um, another great feature that we have of course is our 5,000 pound towing capacity so you can see down here we also have our seven pin connector and these really robust like kind of crazy shaped bumpers again this is that e-coated material so you can see these are guarding the edges of your coach because when you're taking this coach off-road you have a strong metal surround that goes the whole way around the edges of your coach um, and I've heard that uh, if you go to a garage uh, in Indiana you'll find these panels if they haven't used them they're actually using them to line their garages to create a, uh, a, a more warm uh, oh we're gonna talk about that rear view backup camera Marlon wants to talk about that rear view backup camera oh see I told Marlon I said Marlon you got to be like Jody when you grow up and make sure you give me all the cues so that's a great camera one of the nice things about it is it's got different views that you can see out of it but more importantly it's so clear. It's such a good camera system. And wait till you see the display for this coach. I mean, you have so much um, screen to, to be able to see. Here's another place to attach uh, your hose. Here's that hose for you. So this is your shower. Spray off the kids, spray off the dogs. Oh, look at winterization. Now it's, it's I, I'm St. Patrick's Day everywhere, even on my pantyhose. Uh, <laughs> this is for putting your potable water in. Um, and then you'll notice that if you're dry camping, if you are uh, filling your tanks, if you're winterizing, if you're sanitizing, if you're on city water, it just shows you all those easy places. And then there's your hose connection again. I showed you that little hose I liked earlier. You can run that down right through here. This is a great place to hang a washcloth or a towel. These are also in the bathroom on the inside. These just simple little devices are so cool. Uh, but you can run your gray hose or your gray tank hose through here. And there's a little grommet that you can use to just close that so when you're on the road you're not going to get any debris into the coach itself and of course what do you need out here when you're getting to camp late you need a light so there's a light right there as well oh let's talk about this okay so this is where you plug in your 30 amp but you know what this is this is where you plug in your solar panel so again when you have the pop top you have less solar but usually when you're camping you are not trying to camp in the sun you're trying to camp under a tree so this little guy here you can run your solar panel out from under the tree into the sun and charge those batteries now when we talk about charging batteries there's some other things that we might want to talk about too so what charges your battery so that generator can charge your batteries right so you can fill those batteries up that 640 amp hours you can fill that up with a generator you can also fill your batteries up by driving so let's say that you decide you want to go off the beaten path and you stay in the middle of the forest and it's beautiful and you wake up and you look at your lithionics app on your phone and you realize that you've got very low amperage left great no problem hop in the coach pack up your stuff drive to the nearest trailhead if you drive this coach and you're on you know if you're if you're almost out of juice and you drive this coach for about two hours um, if you if you're driving at, a at peak rpms it should take you just under two hours to fill this up completely. Now, if you are sitting, it's about half of the amount of charge. So you could idle your engine to charge those batteries too. So there's a number of ways to get the juice into the coach in an emergency situation um, so that you can stay out camping and not have to go to a campground and plug in to charge those batteries. And one of them is by simply driving the coach. So you've got solar, you've got the ability to drive, you've got that little generator that I showed you, which is fantastic generator and it's so so small in that huge compartment you really have plenty of room um, we were talking about it this morning I thought it would be really more useful to show it to you um, so if you just pull up on this little blue handle here this comes right out um, the nice thing about this little cassette uh, tank is that it has a handle on it so if you're gonna be at a truck stop and you want to go ahead and just take this over and there we go 
and dump your and dump this out you don't have to go to a dump station you can literally like take this walk it over to the porta potty dump it out and then put it back in the coach this is such an amazing feature so for those of you who are really looking to get off grid this coach is really made for you um, uh, Winnebago spent a ton of time uh, in Reese doing their research trying to figure out what people were looking for and what they wanted in a new RV and a lot of people wanted to be able to get off grid so I think that that's huge now here you'll note that this is a pretty deep compartment this is deeper than you'd expect it's 14 inches deep in terms of its overall width like to get into the compartment it's not nearly as uh, long on the exterior so this is 28 inches in it is just about let's be realistic here six inches in terms of this width here but this compartment overall after you get in there is 35 inches so really a pretty large compartment for storage again underneath winnebago is so good at maximizing everything and then as you can see here super easy to lock close this all up all of these bays lock now here's where we get to our lithionics package and again this is with both lithionics batteries and we've also moved the shower pump outside we had a shower pump issue last year so the shower pumps now have been relocated to the exterior in 2023 but again all of these compartments are still in this insulative uh, uh, capacity and that's on the floor and on the outside as well as above so fantastic again this package has a bluetooth app so you can monitor those uh, for those of you who are wondering and if you haven't thought to wonder uh, first of all a few things about our power system in this coach this coach does not have an auto gen start so if you were to not have the second battery and you had the generator and you left your pets you know in the coach and it got too hot and your batteries were depleted and you didn't have air conditioning your generator would not kick on automatically as it does with some of the larger coaches um, that being said the lithionics app does not uh, have uh, capacity to tell you what your battery charges when you're not near the rv so if you do have fine furry friends and you're planning on going out for a long hike and it might take you all day and you're concerned about not having enough juice even if you're parked in the sun that little generator is the answer because you can leave that running you can go ahead and take off you'll know that you're charging those batteries and that you'll have air conditioning and heat for your fine furry friends as long as you're gone um, so I do think that that's you know and, and worrying through all the different ways to get yourself as uh, off-grid as possible that little gen is a really great solution especially in combination with this uh, dual battery pack another option you could have would be to get that generator built in and then add the battery pack later for me I really like the idea of not having my generator underneath my sleeping quarters and having it away from the coach so I think that that's a really good option and as you can see it was very affordable um, so one of the things oh look at this okay so remember how I told you that you can pop those windows open so this won't open it's still locked so I wanted to show that so you can leave your windows open for the day it's still locked from the inside but I have it set up on this one so that you can see what it looks like if you wanted to keep some fresh air in the coach and as you can see if it was rainy it would come down and just drip right off the outside now over here when we open this door we're entering into a whole new world when I got my first Sprinter van I could not find the gas tank it's right there <laughs> don't put diesel in here folks do not put diesel in here um, okay so how much crap can you put in here well it's right here so you can see 805 kilograms or 1775 pounds of stuff um, so let's talk a little bit about this dash another new feature for 2023 oh I don't have the keys in here no key detected Avin where's the keys all right so key let's go oh they are there you're right Marlon is okay you guys just so you know Marlon might not make truck videos anymore I might just have him full-time doing RV videos because he is so abundantly useful thanks Marlon okay so let's talk about some cool features on this coach so first of all um, it's got uh, it, the EcoBoost engine is really really nice and powerful the other thing is I wanted to show this to you so there's a low tire so oh shoot hold on door ajar let's do it this way ready I'm gonna close this 
Oh, push the button. It won't do it though, Marlon, because... <laughs> Look at folks, no hands. <laughs> It won't do it when my door's open. I'm telling you. Um, but when I close it, it's gonna tell me that it's got this alert system. It's gonna tell me, oh shoot, now I, get, now I do have to find it. Ready? You know how I find it, Marlon? I just turn it on and off and it comes up right away because it's really upset about the fact there's only 10 pounds in that interior tire. How cool is that? I mean, when you're driving and you've got regular, you know, PSI and this notification comes on right away and it says, hey, you've got a low tire. That is fantastic. It's telling you which tire it is too, so you don't have to check them all. And that interior tire is gonna be a pain to get to, but at least you know it's that one and you've gotta do it. Um, and as you can see, Marlon was flipping through. This has got so many cool things. Like if I push the star button on here, it tells me my digital mileage per hour. You can change that. Here's that big uh, system too. So we talked about this big nav system. Now I'll tell you what, the other cool thing about this, and I actually logged on to this today, is this system, um, this car has, not only does it have a keyless remote, but it actually has an app for the Ford Transit where you can check your mileage, see how many gallons are left in your tank. You can look at your service intervals, all of those things from this coach. And they even have an optional Wi-Fi package. Now this Wi-Fi is going to be like that of what you would have on your, like your Audi, for instance, where it gives you a hotspot. Um, but what's really cool about that is if you don't have Starlink, and you don't have cradle point and you do want to have wi-fi on this coach you can get it through your ford app and you can actually you know open your laptop send out an email log into your personal hotspot and no one will know that you are playing hooky and that you are not at the office how fantastic is that um, again so all of these great steering wheel controls are super super nice this is a really ergonomic steering wheel it's a great size up here you'll notice that we have a ton of like type c and 12 volt ports um, there's a lot of pockets up here to keep all of your sunglasses i am going to open this door up again i'll go ahead and turn the car off uh, so that you can see also that you have your power mirrors you also have uh, your uh, headlights in fog lamps and then a nice little cup holder down here and as you can see here really easy uh, to, to drive just like a vehicle like this is not a really big cab this feels just like I'm driving a car the only difference is, is it's all-wheel drive and it has my house in the back of it and it's really freaking awesome um, you also have your oh shit handles which are super important of course everyone has to have those and then one of the other features I like about this coach so much is it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto both so this chassis is really fantastic and again with that adaptive cruise control and the lane tracking package you're really going to be in a very very safe vehicle um, so another nice feature too go ahead and pop that bad boy they went to a black grill this year uh, so we used to have the other color now we've got a nice black grill and then here underneath, as you can see, really easy access to your windshield washer fluid and easy access to your engine. Now keep in mind, this is a tried and true workhorse. This coach is uh, definitely used by so many people that are out there on the road and that are, you know, using it for painting, for, you know, being plumbers, for all sorts of work events. So very reliable, very easy to use, very utilitarian, and now very, very weatherproof and very fantastic for camping. Again, the Flying W here, this 2023 Winnebago Echo is being offered to you uh, at Trans West Truck Trailer RV, except for one caveat, as you'll notice, to Julian, Danielle, and Jojo, your RV has arrived. I wanted to make sure we gave you a fantastic uh, welcome video. Thanks so much for your patience and waiting for this. We ordered this a long time ago. It's finally here, uh, but we've got others coming in. so. If you'd like one for yourself, please give me a call. My name's Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV, just outside of Denver, Colorado. Really easy to get to, great place to fly in. We have the biggest airport, the top three in the, in the world. Um, so we probably have a flight that's really easy from your hometown. Uh, we provide a fantastic delivery walkthrough service. We have on-site camping, so when you're done, you can stay here and get used to your coach. And like yesterday, um, if you watched my video, on Friday, I was uh, talking about going to see 
Joe and Barb, I flew out to Arkansas and delivered their Navion to them yesterday. It was so much fun, uh, but we'll do that for you here. We know we really like to make sure we roll out the red carpet and give you the kind of experience that you deserve when you're buying a truck from TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. Please uh, like, subscribe. Let me know what I can do to answer your questions and to get you on the road and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in.